over ten dollars for work now. Tell Taylor Smith and Young Thug to pull their skirts down. We living in ill times. The courts wanna kill my only presidents. I vote for myself for Jill Stein. Only presidents I need are dead or with slave owners. Now that's what you're gonna take, and that's why we live in a society where Dan Donovan has the audacity to think that he can run to represent the Garner family now in Congress after he's killed a family member because this society lets that happen. But today, in 18 days, this is an election, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, we need to come out in numbers. We need to get all our people out to the polls and vote against Donovan. And you know what? Everyone say, well, what about the Democrat guy? He's a good guy. Gentilly, in his community, he was sponsoring the Go Blue movement. He had blue fires up when all the protests were in the street talking about the situation we have with these cops killing our people and getting off scot-free. What he did was, with all the cops in his community, he worked out a Go Blue campaign and had these little eight and a half by 11 blue flyers, put them on the signs, support our cops. So that's what you're gonna get if you get Gentilly in there. That's mm -hmm. insulting to the peace and justice community. We cannot stand for that. Exactly. They're flip sides of the same coin in the actuality. Exactly. So this is why I'm running against them. And you know what, I've been telling people, they say, oh, but you don't have a chance. In the last election, we had 28% of the people that voted. So that means 70% of the people are so disgusted with this system, with this injustice system, with this electoral system that they have, that they're not voting, they're choosing to hold their vote. I know, I did that for the first 35 years of my life. I didn't vote until I found out about the Green Party, and then I found out about these other parties. And I'm like, these parties represent me more than these Democrat and Republicans do. They represent the corporations. They don't care about me. So that's why I joined as a Green Party member, and that's why for 15 years I've been fighting to make changes in this electoral process. And that's why I want people to come out in numbers, and we're going to show them. You know what? We've been out in the street marching. Now you're getting your thing, you're ignoring Alec Baldwin's like cracking jokes about us and whatever. We're gonna show them in the polls, in their, in their home grounds. We're gonna take these numbers, we're gonna turn this voter percentage up to 70%, and guess who's gonna get those 70% of the votes? You are. That's right. I am, yeah. but it's gonna be your votes. That's right. Because you are the ones that's gonna do it. I could just be the candidate. I need you, the guys, to come out and vote. And when I get in, that opens the door for you to be a congressman, for you to be a senator, you to be a city council person, and we're gonna turn all this around, because yeah. it's just done. The Power age of the politician the is dead. It's time for the political activists to step up. And that's no all doubt. I have to say on the matter. No yeah. doubt. Racism like Mississippi's Confederate History Month is rooted in racism like the war on terror, the war on drugs and thugs, the whole war ever. It's rooted in racism like the Blue Lives Matter bill and the whole prison system. Black folks should be mad at Bill.